Do y'all see some lace? Let me know. Let me know if you see lace, because I don't. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. I guess you know we have another hair video, and I guess you know your girl is excited because... Y'all can't tell me this is not sitting nice on my head, okay? We have another kinky edge human hair, natural hairline, where's the lace video. This unit is absolutely gorgeous. I did a kinky straight and y'all know how much I love that one, but I love curly hair because my hair does not naturally look like this. So the color... The curls, I am here for all of it. I know you guys want to know what it is, so we're going to jump into the video. But before we do, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I do makeup, lots of hauls, tutorials, lots of hair. We do some nails. So everything beauty is right here on this channel. If you want to see the brand I am working with today and find out how easy it was to get this look, then stay tuned and keep on watching. Today I have another exciting video. It is a wig video. I've been loving doing these lately. I hope you guys are enjoying them too. I love sharing when I find a wig that is easy to put on. I used to get anxiety about putting wigs on and styling them. And now I've begun to find wigs that are a lot more beginner friendly, that don't cost an arm and a leg, that look very realistic. So I have another one to share with you today. I just recently filmed a video showing you some wigs that I bought from Love Me Hair. This one was sent to me and I haven't even really pulled it out the box yet other than to kind of look at the hairline. But we'll get into that. So this wig right here is their 4C Edges Ombre Brown Deep Wave Kinky Edges 13 by 4 Undetectable Lace Front Wig. It says it is Afro inspired. She's a little pricey. She is a little pricey from some of the other wigs that I've seen from the brand. But again, remember, you get what you pay for. And some of these wigs are $600, $700, $800. So this is still super affordable and I do have a coupon code listed for you below if you're interested. So let's go ahead and unbox her because this color, and y'all know I love me some curls because my hair is not curly. I just could not wait. So standard packaging, you get your purple box. We all know you get your wig caps. You get your edge brush, you get your little pouch with your scarf to tie it down in the front, and we got our little mirror. So these have been coming in most of the packages lately. Yes, I know because I've ordered them. So this is the purple bag that comes standard, and then let's look at this wig. Oh, I have been dying to open this. So this is what it looks like in the package. Take on this out of here. So it does come with your elastic band, and this is attached in the back with a, I don't know what you call this thing, but it's plastic. So we're just going to pull that. Actually, I probably should cut it so I don't put a hole in the lace. I've never seen that done before like that with them. Not sure what the difference is, but you always want to be careful with your lace. And then let's go ahead and take a look at this hairline. So you can see right here. You have your kinky edge hairline. And then I love that this is not too big. And I love, ooh, yes. So this is curly. I don't wanna fluff it out too much. I kinda wanna try to keep this exactly how it is. So I'm not gonna run my fingers in it too much. It is so soft. This hair is so soft. So let's just put her on. I'm not gonna put the elastic band in yet. I just wanna see how she fits with just the adjustable straps. Cap construction is what we're used to seeing. These knots are bleached, which love that because it is a dark root. Then you have your comb here on the inside and the back of the lace. You have your two combs over here on the side and then you have your comb in the back. So we're just gonna plop her on and I put 
the straps as tight as they will go. I'm not going to put the band in yet. My hair is just in a ponytail. I just want to see what this is going to look like before I do anything to her. Because y'all know me. If I can wear a wig glueless, that always makes me happy. I cannot... <laughs> I don't wear my wigs long enough to keep them on with glue and bald cap and all that stuff. So... Let's scoot closer so you guys can see. This lace looks really, really good. And you can actually see, okay, I can push my hairline back a little bit, but this is what the hairline looks like. So I'm probably going to put a little mousse. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Side part, y'all already know. Probably going to put a little mousse just to smooth these back. But you do not want to put any heat to straighten it because that totally defeats the purpose of it having a natural hairline. So, y'all, I might put my elastic band in just to see if I can get it to fit a little bit tighter on my head because I do want to try to wear this glueless. But just off the bat, let's see what the specs are on this one because I didn't even look at everything. It says flawless melt, giving scalp growing straight from the head, no extra work. Soft and durable. Does say you can wear it glueless, so we are definitely going to try. Okay, so it is 18 inches, 150% density, ombre brown, 4C edges, kinky edges, more natural, undetectable Swiss lace, and 13 by 4. I do not want this hair to be any bigger than it already is. I would leave this exactly like this in this texture. But you could make it bigger if you decide to finger comb it. So I am going to speed through the rest of the install just so you guys can see how I put it on. But look at this hairline. Like Y'all know I'm not doing anything to this. I don't feel like any work is needed. And that is why you are paying so much for these wigs. So let's go ahead. I might fluff her out a tiny, tiny bit. But let's go ahead and get her put on. And then you guys will see the final look. But off the bat... You already know. I think it's pretty safe to say she can be worn glueless. Look at this hairline. I could part it if I wanted to and give it a little more definition, but I really just kind of like how this looks just like big, kind of swept over. 
the curls are defined, the hair feels soft, like... Do we have another throw on and go? I think we do. Let me give you guys the 360. I'm still not sure what I want to do with this front part. If I want to flip it over a little more, but we'll keep it like this for now. But this is what it looks like from the side. And then I'll show you the back. So this is 18 inches. Do y'all see some lace? Let me know. Let me know if you see lace, because I don't. I get so sassy. <laughs> I get so sassy when I wear a wig. It's a shame, but I mean, when it's cute, it's cute. What can you do? So y'all see how easy this was. Again, you saw I did not use any adhesive, any spray. She is not glued down at all at all. And I'm just kind of blending in their hairline with my hairline right here at the bottom so yeah boo we have us another hit like i said she is a little expensive but what what wig can you do this with and it looked this real the knots are bleached you don't have to do anything the hairline is plucked you don't have to do anything this wig is another banger and Curly hair don't care for the summer, for the winter, whenever you want it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Check the description bar for all the details. If you want to get it, save you some money. Use my discount code. It's not a commission code. It is just a code to help you guys get some money. So do yourself a favor. This is beautiful for the holidays. The color is screaming fall. Absolutely love it. Thank you for sticking with me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.